that as well. I cast Elena Bands, my bishop. Hello? Elliot, born for you. Hello? You, Elliot, come on in here right away. The boy. But the tournament isn't over yet. Come on in here. Are you working for this newspaper or aren't you? Yes, sir, but Mr. Polito just made the most beautiful gambit. Well, gambit your hips in here. But, uh, I... Oh, if I had an idiot, I'd rather send him on this assignment than your nephew. But he is my brother's boy. Look, boss, don't get me wrong. In his place, he's all right. He's a good chess editor. But he's not a newspaper man, and he never will be a newspaper man. Poor fellow, who is he? You. Me? I wouldn't say that. Well, I will. I sent you out to cover the mayor's funeral, and what happened? A dame shoots herself right over the grave. And you forget to mention it. It was bad taste. You see what I mean, Mr. Elliott? Well, it was. The mayor's widow was there. It was news. That's just what I was talking to your uncle about. You don't know what news is. If a man bit a dog, you'd... You'd take the dog to a veterinarian. That would depend upon whether or not the dog was badly hurt. Oh, no, no. Now, Lawrence, you listen to me. We're giving you one more chance. If you fail this time, I'm going to fire you, even though you are my brother's son. Yes, sir. What happened to you? Oh, I was hit by a bishop. A bishop hit you? Yeah, there's anything to it. Oh. Say, I've seen his face before. Who is that? Barry, I sent for you because I want you to go... His face is awfully familiar. Who is this? That's Deacon Markham. He robs banks and knocks people off. Today, he got out of the state penitentiary. Well, they shouldn't let a man like that out. They shouldn't let... What else could they do? He shot the warden. He shot two guards. He kidnapped a woman in a laundry truck. Every member of the staff is out hunting, and anybody who can walk. You're the only one who's left. You mean, you want me to find him? No, Larry. <laughs> oh, no. I will sit down and write a little squib about the chess tournament. Then I want you to get your bag packed and hop a bus for Grape City. Oh, uh, the tournament's called off. So much the better. You better write it down. Yes, sir. Grape City. Grape City. The Grape City Winery. You go there and ask for the owner. Ask for owner. Tomorrow he's running the annual Grape City Harvest Festival, and they're going to choose and crown Miss Muscat. Boy. Miss Muscat. Boy. You get a photograph of her with vine leaves in her hair. Vine leaves and hair. Get all the dope on the festival and then get back here by 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. Or you're fired, understand? Fired. You're fired, understand? Fire. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Uncle Joshua. This may not be important to you, Lawrence, but it is to us. The Grape City Winery is our biggest advertiser. And I won't fail you. Uh, Larry, what did the bishop hit you for? Well, uh, they threw him at me. And I happen to be standing there. Well, I'm off. What's he talking about? They threw a bishop at him. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it was a little bishop. He meant a chess piece. You know, bishop, castles, pawns, queens. Oh, too bad they don't play chess with crowbars. Chief, chief, it's terrific. Did Larry give you the chess tournament yarn? No, he said it was called off. It was, but didn't he tell you why? Should he have? Oh, brother, you want to see who's in the jug. Jug? It was a riot. The city librarian, the superintendent of schools, Polito, right as well, the happy undertaker, the whole slew of them. It's all over town for fighting mayhem, assault, and battery. Love. Oh, Oliver! Yeah, Oliver! 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 Oliver Waldeck, the boy genius. It's him, dear. Is he the one we heard on the radio from the university last night? Your boy? No, thank you. My boss's grandson. All I do is keep an eye on him. Oh. oh, hello, Cookie. This is Professor Wisner, formerly of the University of Milan. He's finishing a book. I persuaded him that Grandpa's tavern would be just the place for him to work. Mr. Cook, Professor. How do you do? He's ah. coming with us. I insist Freud's a fraud. Well, now, wait a minute. Condalip, you know, has always been a great admirer. Oh, I... Oh. 
Oh, hello, Miss Warren. Hello. Uh, say, what happened to you lately? You uh, never come by the shop anymore. Oh, uh, I bought a new hat. Uh, this one. Bus for Centerville, Dairy Junction, Hog Crossing, Grape Center, and Grape City leaves in five minutes. Uh, losing interest in antiques? I uh, miss seeing you at the shop window. No, no. Grape Center, please. Grape Center. I wasn't interested in antiques. I was, I mean, uh, I moved. Uh, where to, please? Uh, 1392 Bromley Place. It's a lovely apartment. It has a northern light. Uh, yes, I'm sure. It's a nice place. Uh, where do you want a ticket to? Oh, uh, uh, come on. I haven't got all day, you know. She said she missed me. Excuse me. I don't want to miss that bus. Grape Center. She has an antique shop. She thought I was interested in antiques. Well, Dreamboat, where do we want to go? Come, come. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Grape, uh... Grape, uh, uh, grape center. Grape center. Uh, what are you doing? Playing chess. Oh, I, I thought it took two people. There are two of us. Two of you? Yes, uh, I'm playing with Utu Yak. Utu Yak. He's an Eskimo in Alaska. And uh, you're playing with him? Sure, by mail. He mails me a move, I mail him a move. Oh. I got him now. Checkmate, three moves. And all he has to do is move his castle, then you lose your queen, and on the next move, you're checkmated. Maybe the kid is right. Watch this move. Tracy? I find comic strip criminals interesting, abnormal, but interesting. on your next move? Oh, it's impossible. He keeps upsetting the men. One good thing he's not snoring anymore. How long are you going to stay in Grape Center? Just long enough to buy something. Buy something? Antique? Very antique. And you? Oh, I'm just going to cover a story.
Did you take care of that, Emerson? I took care of it. <laughs> How was the Bratz lecture? You think I'd listen to that? Mrs. Cook, this is Professor Wisner. How do you do? He'll be our guest for a few days. Tell Grandfather I'm back. See you later, Professor. Oh, I'd like to have a kid like that. I'd keep him in a bottle. What have you got against bottles? I'm Miss Warren. I wired for a reservation. 304. Mink, Miss Warren goes in 304. Yes, ma'am. Because you want a room, too. Mm -hmm. It's pretty quiet here. That's exactly what I want. I'm on my vacation. 306. Take him up, Mink. Yes, ma'am. Bag. That one. Here. Mm -hmm. You can't have an adjoining room. Our rooms don't adjoin. Oh, uh, I'm a reporter. Elliot is the leader. We don't give rates. Oh, I don't want a rate. I want the, uh, the, uh, the winery. This is it. Oh, this? Winery's back there. Tavern's part of it. Leaves in her hair. Uh, the owner. That's it. I'd like to speak to the owner. What about? Now, look, I had instructions to speak to the owner. Please take me to him. You take care of the professor. I'll tend to this young man. young man's from a newspaper. Came to interview my grandson, eh? Uh, no, sir. I'm Elliot of the Joaquin Leader. My boy, Elliot, why didn't you tell me? Tell you? Why, this is the greatest chess expert in the state. I might say the country. I will say the country. The country. Sit down. <laughs> Mrs. Cook, get me a blindfold. Get you a walk. Never mind, we'll use this. Read all about it. Time you played 13 men blindfolded. Always wanted to see it done. Uh, just, just a moment. Uh, uh, there aren't 13 men here now, are there? Come, come, don't be modest. I I'm not, but uh, we'll play later. Uh, what about the festival? 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 What festival? Uh, Miss Muscat. It's Charles! At it again. Arranging festivals, telling me nothing. You'll have to take it up with him. But uh, I'm supposed come. to... No good arguing with him. Behind my yeah. back. Always behind my back. Come in, just walk right in. How did he twins? This is Mr. Charles Waldeck. Preston's mad at him. They haven't spoken in ten years. Mr. Waldeck. Mr. Waldeck, this is Mr. Elliot of the Joaquin Leader. Elliot, my boy. Fine, fine. Uh, get me a blindfold. Never mind. I'll use this. That wasn't at all necessary. He doesn't want to play chess. No? Well, well I thought you might. No, see, it's, uh, it's about the festival. Uh, this uh, Muscat, Miss Muscat. Festival? Festival? Oh, uh, uh, you must have come to the wrong place. Oh, no, I couldn't. It's, uh, it's right here. It says, uh, Grape City. Oh, well, this is Grape City. Uh, Grape City is 40 miles east. Oh. Oh, oh wait, please. Uh, the festival's tomorrow, and... I gotta go. I'll get fired. <coughs> Operator. Operator, it's dead, I tell you. Somebody tampered with it. The whole switchboard's dead. Yeah, so's that guy out in the bus. A man, the one who sat next to you, murdered. Well, I've got to go. Murdered? He's gone. Somebody swiped the corpse. Oh. 
That's him. That's the guy who was sitting next to the body. Now, oh, wait a minute, please. I was playing chess. Uh, that uh, settles it. That stiff had a chessman clutched in his hand. I know it. I know it. Oh, just a minute. Oh, oh, just a minute. You were sitting right next to him, so you better tell us what really happened. The sheriff will be here any minute, and we don't want to be involved. Like I've been telling you right along, I was playing chess with an Eskimo. Eskimo? What's his name? Utu Yak. Spelled sideways, it's still phony. I know he's telling the truth. Miss hmm. Warren saw the Eskimo. No, she didn't either. He was... Oh. Very interesting, isn't it, Professor? Very. Are you getting frightened, Mr. Elliot? Why should he be frightened? Yeah, why should I be frightened? Someone in this room is a murderer. No telling who may be next on his list. It should be fascinating studying your reactions. Reactions to what? Fear. Fear stimuli. All right, all right, Oliver. We don't need any stimuli from you. The bus driver's gone for the sheriff. He'll be here soon. In the meantime, everybody go to your room. And stay there. Here, you. You go to the room we gave you. Look, I've got to get to Grape City. I'm still frightened, huh, Mr. Elliot? And if I don't get there tonight, I'll lose my job. Where you're going, you won't need any job. Where I'm going, I won't need... Will you get out of here? Come on, Larry. <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Waldeck, I'll be right along. Yes, yes. Uh, Mr. Waldeck, uh, when can I talk to you? Oh, Miss Warren, isn't it? Oh, yes, yes, about those jewel chestnuts. Yes. Not now, not now. Too many people, too much confusion. <laughs> well, later. So it is. What I was going to say is... Um, say it in here. I've got to go away, and I don't want you to think it's because of the murder. It isn't that at all. Well, Larry, I know you had nothing to do with the murder. Well, when they find out that I've left here, the others are going to say that I did it. And I want you to still keep on believing in me. Well, perhaps you'd better stay here, then. Oh, I can't. I've got to go. I'll lose my job. My uncle said if I fail this time, he'll fire me. I've got to get to Grape City, no matter what they think or what they say. Maybe I shouldn't go away and leave you. <laughs> Why not? Well, I... You know, when I stopped by the antique shop, it wasn't because I was interested in antiques. Oh, my Larry. It was, uh... Well, I... I like andirons, yes. But... I don't want anything to happen to you. <laughs> Nothing's going to happen to me. Are you sure? That man was murdered. Look, anyone on the bus could have killed him. It had nothing to do with me. I'm here on business, and as soon as I talk to Charles and Preston Waldeck, I'll leave. Well, be careful. Promise me. When I finish my assignment at Grape City, I'll come back. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, um, I'm glad it wasn't the antiques uh, you were looking at. Mr. Elliot, could you help me? Uh, well, I'm in a hurry now. But it's a chess problem. I can't do anything with it. Chess problem? Chess? Uh-huh. Come on in here where the light's better. It says eight in four moves, and I can't do it. See. That's very simple. It's rudimentary. You move that bishop there, then the queen there. Advance this pawn, and that one, mate. Oh, you're wonderful. I'll try it on the chessboard later. Is Miss Warren interested in chess, too? Oh, I don't know. It isn't the game that fascinates me so much. It's the chess men. I collect old ones, you know, jeweled ones. Well, I'm only interested in the game. Miss Warren collects chess men, doesn't she? Well, she didn't say. I'd heard there was an especially fine set here, and I thought that Goodbye, maybe... Goodbye, Miss Rosson. If I, if I run across any old men, I'll, I'll let you know. But I'm interested in young men, too. I thought I told you to go to your room and stay there. This is a respectable tavern. Well, she was asking about men. Yeah, well, and she would.
It's you again. What are you doing? I was just trying... Did you jam up that wiring? No, sir. I was just trying to fix it. Fix it, eh? Well, I'll fix you. May I get my bags, please? my paper about this. What in the world was all that racket? He was in the garage car. I was just trying to get one started. I've got to get the grapes. Why did you get... For that matter, why did you get off here? Why, I... It's my vacation. Oh, somebody drained the old gas out of my bus. Who did it? That's what I want. Did you get the sheriff? No. Ten miles from here on what happens, my gas gives out. Say, what kind of a joint is this anyway? Guns murdered, bodies disappearing, phones cut off, sabotaging my bus. I had to walk back. Oh, my corns are killing me. Say, I didn't do it. If I thought you did, I... How long do you think I can keep these people here? We've got to get the sheriff. I'll go after him. It's 40 miles. Yeah, but I'm a fast walker. Oh, no, you don't. Now, wait a minute. Now, look, someone's got to get the sheriff. Why don't you want him around here? Until the law gets here, what I say goes. Now, everybody go to bed, and for peace's sake, stay there. And as for you... One more break and I'll fill you so full of holes you look like a punched out meal ticket. Now get upstairs. <laughs> Where's the note? There's always a note. You're next. Professor, cutting off the head of a corpse. It's obvious the murderer is a madman. Perhaps it was to forestall identification. Nonsense. Only a homicidal maniac would mutilate a body. 
Don't you agree there's something strange about this Elliot chap? He is odd. I wonder what he did with the head. Where are you heading? Head ahead. I gotta get out of here. Oh. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. Open it. I already did. I mean... Well, go on, oh. open it. Well, you're a chess expert. Don't you recognize them? The ones Kubla Khan gave to Marco Polo in the 12th century. Pearls, jade, and gold, and emerald. Gee, they're wonderful. That set's worth a fortune. But you only have the white hair. Uh, but I know what the rest of the men are. Where did you get these? Preston Walden. He and Charles bought the set at an auction. At that time, no one knew their real value. <laughs> then they quarreled and divided everything. Charles has the black hair. And that's where you come in. And that's where I... What? Well, he won't sell to me. He's mad because I went to Preston first. But you can make him sell. How? Oh. Well, he thinks you're the world's greatest chess player. He told me he'd talk business to you if you could beat him at a game of chess. Oh, I can't. I'd like to help you out, Sally, uh, Miss Warren, but I've got to get out of here. But it won't take long. Then you can go. No, no. I... But, Larry, a thousand dollars is a lot of money to me. I can use it. But Please help me. Suppose Charles beat me at chess. But he can't beat you. Please. All right. Look, now look, he's in his room, he's expecting you. I'll wait for you here. Offer him 25,000 and don't lose your head. for my half of this set? Yes, for the black half. Right here. Here? I have a secret vault. Nobody knows where it is. Not even Preston. <laughs> Especially Preston. Well, let's get the chessman and get out of here, huh? Yes. You go in and open the safe. 
I get claustrophobia. Small places close in on me. Well, uh, where's the combination? Oh, yes, yes, of course. The combination. Can't open a safe without the combination. There you are, right in my room. Where it should be. Hey, I feel dizzy. This place felt just like it was going all around. Could it be the wine? Did it close in you, too? Claustrophobia. Give me the combination. The combination? Why, I just gave it to you. Oh, now, look, this is no time for joking. Give me the combination. I'll get the chess medal. Let's get out of here. My word. Young man, do you mean to stand there and deny that I just gave you the combination, do you? I don't know what you're talking about. I held it right out to you. Maybe you dropped it. You must have taken it and... Hey, this whole wall turns. I saw the vault. Did you find the combination? Inside. Inside. No, it isn't in there either. Say, so how do you open this thing? No! Don't go in there now! I'm beginning to like this, you know? Hey! Charles! Mr. Waldeck! Mr. Waldeck! Mr. Waldeck! Mr. Waldeck! Are you sure that my brother came down here with Mr. Elliot? That's what Larry said. Right after the chess game. They've been gone over an hour. I'm sure something's happened. Oh. What was that? I didn't hear anything. Let's go back. Oh. Oh, there it is again. Somebody moaned. Oh. See here, young man. That's no way to drink port wine. But Larry. Oh, maybe he's hurt. That port never hurt anyone. Don't pull a knife on me. Knife? No. Oh. There's a... Are you drunk? Oh, fine thing. Luring a fellow down here with a cock and bull story about a safe and a combination and then cocking him on the head. Larry, he didn't. Don't tell me. He did too. Affects him funny, doesn't it? No, you don't. You don't get away with that. You're not going to lure me down here and then crack me over the head. Larry, you are drunk. I'm... I was standing right here. And he told me that he gave me the combination. And then when my back was turned, he took advantage of me. He hit me right on the head. Somebody must have. There you are. Up to your old tricks again. As soon. Oh, well, I really must be drunk. My chessman. They're gone. They're gone. They're gone. Oh, Larry, how could you get drunk at a time like this? It was easy. All right, pick your spot, boys. Now, remember, this guy Markham's dangerous. You better come to me. You folks get in your room, now. Stay out of trouble. He's not really hurt much. He's just a great big baby. A baby? Did you get his gun? Gun? Well, he hasn't got a gun. Uh, you go on inside. I'll wait out here. We don't speak. Get on your toes, Tony. Where is he? Shh. He's sleeping. Oh, well, that's Charlie Walden. It ain't Preston. Well, we don't want him. Markham's the man we want. Deacon Markham. Deacon Markham? Yeah, that's who. The escaped killer. Now, where you got him? Are we supposed to have him? Well, I get a tip that Markham's up here and that you or him or... If this is a rib... Oh, no. There's been a mistake, Chef. But it's a good thing you've come. A murder's been committed. A murder? And he was attacked. Me, too, on account of the chess man. The chess man? That's the motive. The oh, motive. Murdered chess man. What are you talking about? Markham is the guy I want. Who was murdered? Uh, well, he'll tell you all about it. He talks much better alone. Uh, excuse us, please.
All right, start to talk. We're listening. Don't mention chess. Why not? Markham, he'll kill us, Charles and me. Or not that I mind about Charles. He doesn't make much sense, does he? The jewel chess set. It was Deacon Markham's. Last week we got a letter from him. It was smuggled out of prison. Read it. Waldeck, brothers. I hear you've got my chess men. You keep them till I get there or else. I don't mind knocking guys off. The sheriff, uh, you heard him. Markham's here. Mark? Here. Then he's the one who hit Charles in the head. Head, head. Oh. Well, Larry, what's the matter? Oh, I just happen to think I get ahead, I gotta lose. Uh, I mean, uh, you, you tell the sheriff about. Oh, good night. Port, it's the wine. Affects some people that way. <laughs> Handcuffs on me, but I didn't do it. You didn't do what? Say, chum, what goes on here? You nuts. I was frank. You don't happen to be related to the Waldecks, do you? I always knew they were screwballs. I hardly know them. Now, what do you call that? Oliver. Oliver? Is that what you call him? It, well, I call that a cabbage. Oh, now you're all upset. You better take Oliver and go back to bed. Yes, we better. I better. Thank you. Oh, no, no, no. Not that way. This way. Come on. <laughs> there it is here. Now go right to bed and stay there like a good little boy. Yes. Uh, what'll I do with this? Uh, eat it. Oh, I couldn't eat that. Oh, of course you couldn't. Betty, bye now. Nighty night. You sure you'll be all right? Yeah, I'll be fine. Don't want me to tuck you in. No. Now give me the key and I'll lock you in. Here it is. Nighty night. Nighty night. Sleep tight, sonny boy. Sad case. Chessmen and quick. Yes, sir. There are my chessmen there. Them ain't the ones. My men. The ones with the jewels. He knows that dame brought them up here. Now hand them over or I'll turn and make loose on you. Yes. Let me do it just once, will you please? Just let me do it once. Larry. Larry. I've got to talk to you. Is that the dame? Yes, that's her. Let her in. We'll hide. And talk to her just the same as if we ain't here, see? Now we'll find out where those chess men are. Go on. And if you let on that we're here, I'm letting you have it, see? And the dame. Come in. 
Well, open the door. The key's on the outside. Have you been under that port again? Oh, I wish I had. Oh, I just wanted to ask you. Drop it. We want to go to sleep. The floor. Get out of here, please. You want me to go? Yes. No. If you don't get out of here, something will happen to you. Put those bags. Someone's at the floor. I mean, the door. The floor, the door. We'll find out who it is. Who is it? Who is it? Are you dressed, Mr. Elliot? I'm coming in. No, I, I'm not. Well, then throw on something. I've got to talk to you. I don't want her to see me. Don't go in there. You'll slip on the bathtub. Don't go in there. You'll slip on the mink. I'm in. In the affair. Here. Ready? Are you a man or a mouse? Will you go up there and make him drop that shoe? Come in. Smoke's getting in my eyes. Would you mind taking a cigarette? <clears throat> well, it's all right. Everybody's gone to bed. I got that chest problem worked out, I think. I haven't got time. Well, it'll only take a minute. I borrowed these from Mr. Waldeck. I was out walking and I got lonely. Don't you find it lonely here? Oh, I wish I did. You take the blacks, it's your move. Oh, I don't want to play now. I, I don't feel well. My head. I got a headache, that's it. Oh, you poor boy. What you need is a cool compress. I'll oh. get you one. Oh. No, no, don't you shoot. No, not in there. There's some water over here. I'll wet this and put it on your forehead. You, you don't have to do that. But it's no trouble at all. Well, come on, sit down. Oh, you poor boy. Isn't that better? Oh, I don't know. I don't know anything. What are you doing? Now, now, now relax, relax. Hey, hey, Jeff, wait, don't, don't go in there. Don't go in there. All right, I may as well tell you. I'm not what you think I am. What are you? I'm a detective. A man in disguise? Oh, don't be foolish. What do you want from me? The Marco Polo chess set. I work for the insurance company that paid off to Balboni when the set was stolen. We got wind that Miss Warren was in touch with Balboni about the set, so I started trailing her. Well, that settles everything. No, it doesn't. A man was murdered over that chess set. You mean the man on the bus? For all ten months. Part of the gang that stole the set from Balboni. You've hidden those chess men in here, haven't you? No, don't, don't come in there. You'll get us all killed. I was wondering what you were. Well, well, I underestimated you. All right, give them up. <laughs> but not to you. Please, please, girls. Elliot, open the door. I want to talk to you. That's the manager. If he finds you girls in here, he'll murder me. If he doesn't, somebody will. I'm coming. Hi, quick, hi. Where? No, no, not in there. Don't. Under the bed. Under the bed. What am I hiding for? Come in. At last. Now go to bed and don't wake us again. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, uh gardenia. Nice. <laughs> Have you got a woman in this room? Oh, uh... Oh, oh the lip rouge. Oh, I use it, uh, chap lips.
This is yours, I suppose? Uh, yes, uh, I've spent uh, quite a bit of time in uh, Switzerland. Yo! <laughs> Surprise for stupidity. They got your chess men. No, they didn't. They got your chess men. I switched them. I put them in the box that had your. Well, they're gone. Did you. No, I didn't. Oh. oh. So that's how it was done. I've got it. I'll go out in the hall and start screaming. That'll bring everyone in the tavern out of their rooms. Then you climb down and enter the rooms below and search them. We'll get those chess men. And the murderer. And the mur... Uh, maybe we can think of something else. No, this won't work. Now, wait till you hear me scream, then you'll know what to do. Uh, Sally... I'll be careful. She'll be careful. Fine thing. <laughs> Mr. Elliot. We'll get him, too. Every cop in the county's on the lookout. You don't really think he ran away, do you? He probably double-crossed both of us and got away with the Chipman. I don't believe it. away from here by now anyway. 
can you go now? I'm just going to have another look around. You stay here and keep your hands off those bottles or I'll slap your ears down. <laughs> Which ones? Markham and his pal, the bellboy. Markham's got a gun. Markham, eh? Yes, he's the guy that slugged me and took away the chessmen. I'm sure of that now. See, by the way, what are you doing here, Professor? Oh, I thought I might find the wine tunnels interesting. Oh, interesting. Come on, here they are! Shoot you with your own gun. Go on, get down there again. Get down. Turn around and put your hands up. Turn around or I'll let you have it. Go ahead. Walk around. Keep your hands 
Peter. That professor, I would have never suspected him of being a killer. He's such a refined man. I knew he was a criminal all the time. Didn't you notice his ears were lower in his eyes? Uh, there's something that uh, you didn't know. What's that? Uh, in there, and I'll tell you. Okay. This is just between you and me. That's for throwing the rock through the window. Oh! That's for the cabbage head. Oh! That's for the fireworks. And this one's on me. Oh! <laughs> Boo, are you fighting, Oliver? <laughs> Boss is here. Operator? Long distance? Yes, I'm still waiting. Uh, I'll take those chess men. Thanks for all your help. I'll see that the insurance company pays you the $1,000 reward. Thanks, and good luck. Good luck to you. You're going to need it. Yes? Yes? Mr. Richardson? Larry, here's your call. Mr. Richardson? Oh. Oh, uh... Hello, Mr. Richardson. Uh, this is Larry Elliott. I didn't go to Grape City. Oh, you didn't. Well, what happened to you, if I may be so inquisitive? Oh, it was nothing very interesting to you. I... I just made a little mistake and I got off at Grape Center. What? Well, I couldn't on account of the murder in the bus. Murder? What murder? Did you get the story? I did, but then Markham came. Markham came? Markham came? Well, I would have, only, uh, uh, Mr... What's that man's name? Charles Waldeck. Yes, they almost killed Charles Waldeck and they stole the jeweled, uh, chessmen. And, uh, 
I met the nicest girl. Never mind the girl. What happened to Markham? Markham? Oh, I captured him. Yes, and Mink, and the professor. The professor, he's the real killer. <laughs> you know, the three of them fell in a vat of wine and they got awfully drunk. That's the screwiest bunch of murderers I ever captured. Mr. Richardson, what do I do? Shall I go to Great City and see Miss Muscat? Or shall I come in and get fired?